Hey everyone, I am Samika Varkar and welcome to Agak Media Academy. This is the ninth tutorial in Blender Animation tutorial series. So in the last two videos, in the last two tutorials, we saw all these uh, tools inside of edit mode in Blender to manipulate object to create interesting shapes inside of Blender. So in this tutorial, we are going to uh, just practice uh, making a few interesting shapes and then we will render out the actual 3D image uh, in Blender. So we first get, let's get to the object mode. Let's not start with the cube. Let's, let's first have a plane uh, as a ground. So shift A and plane. So this is our plane. I'm just scaling it up by S and dragging the mouse or also we can do it from here this scale tool but we use the uh, shortcut s for scaling so this is our ground we can see the ground let's add a few interesting shapes let's add a uv sphere now right now uh, half of the object is uh, below the origin and half of the object is above the origin to move it upwards by exactly one unit to get it on the ground we were we are going to just move the object one unit above the ground so grab for moving z to lock the direction in z axis and one uh, as a movement distance so right now this is now on the ground let's move it somewhere else grab and shift z to lock it on xy plane if we just press z then it will be logged on z plane z axis but if we do shift z then it will be logged on uh, x y plane so let's keep it here let's add one more object let's add a cylinder again grab z1 to bring it on ground grab shift z to move it around on the plane let's put it there shift z uh, let's add a torus again grab z1 now right now the torus basically now if we see grab z1 for torus doesn't work at all because for sphere uh, cylinder cone and cube and icosphere of course uh, they are of un two units long so one unit is above the ground and one unit is below the ground but a torus is not one uh, two units long two units tall so that thing doesn't work so we need to just um, you know eyeball it and grab it on z axis by ourselves so till here it's okay let's move it somewhere else grab z let's put it there and let's add a cone also cone so we are just trying out different things that can that we can add uh, inside of blender grab z1 now again you can see it is on the ground only the problem is with torus it's not two units long so that's why grab z1 uh, to bring it on ground doesn't work so let's keep it there now here we have a light light source which is a point light and this is our camera so here also you can see if i select this uh, this is our light point light and this is our camera so uh, basically what happens is light source is very important to give light uh, to the ground Right now we are in the solid mode. Here are few different modes that we can um, see the objects in. Uh, different shading modes that we can see the objects in. This is the wireframe mode. So if we go to the wireframe mode, then we can see all the uh, edges of all the uh, objects that we have on in our viewport. If we by default we are in the uh, solid shading mode. Uh, here uh, everything looks solid in color this is our material preview mode uh, if you have some materials and we'll be looking at how to put on new materials on these uh, objects if you have some materials then we can see the materials on them uh, in this uh, material preview mode and this is the rendered mode here actually the actual render happens so you can see the la lamp or the light source is here so it's casting shadows all over the places so if you just look at uh, everything you, we don't need to worry about you know casting shadows inside of 3d animation softwares the anime the shadows are very well taken care by themselves in um, 3d animation softwares this is unlike 2d animation where we have to actually ourselves draw the shadows 
but in 3d animation softwares the shadows are taken care of by themselves so this is really great for 2d uh, 3d animations you can also convert the two, 3d animations into 2d animations uh, using some uh, techniques so that uh, you don't have to worry about the shadows and stuff like that so many movies that are coming right now uh, which are 2d 2d animations they are actually made in 3d and then converted into 2d animations so that you know uh, all those uh, shadings and uh, textures look re very very realistic so right now we are in the um, uh, viewport shading mode of rendered mode right we again have a shortcut for all of this if we just uh, hover on the viewport and just press z then we get all these four options wireframe solid material preview and rendered so you don't need to always go here we can just do it from here itself right good so now uh, to look through the camera we just have to press 0 on our keyboard so if we just tap 0 on our keyboard then we are looking exactly at what the camera is looking right 0 right now what we want is to zoom out here right so that uh, these corners is basically showing what will be captured inside of the camera the gray areas will not be captured inside of the camera only this part this box will be captured inside of the camera now we of course understand that we need to zoom out a bit right so to zoom out if we just try to zoom out here by scrolling up and down you will see that nothing is happening the box is not um, you know the box is not increasing or decreasing in size it is just you know the complete view is being zoomed in and zoomed out but it's not the camera's view that is being zoomed in or zoomed out to lock the camera first so that zooming in and zooming out works we need to go to the panel right here so i'll just move myself away from the screen and just give me a second yeah so now here is a panel here you can see a small uh, you know arrow here so if i just press that arrow this panel will be opened we need to go into the view panel and lock camera to view so as soon as i press lock camera to the view you can see that a red dashed line appears here orange -ish red dashed line appears here uh, it states that the camera is now locked right now as soon as i've done that uh, to remove this i don't know how to remove this just from here there is a shortcut of n which toggles between opening and closing of this panel so n is for opening and closing this panel you don't need to always go here uh, you can just press n and open this panel right so now we have locked the camera and if i now zoom in and zoom out you can see the camera this uh, bordered uh, red dashed bordered camera view is locked to the view and when i zoom in and zoom out everything moves uh, with it so now let's position it right here i think the uh, plane needs to be much bigger at, as we can see here that the plane is not covering the complete scene we will just scale it up you can do it from here when the camera is locked so i'm just scaling it up and let's just move it right here and something like this let's scale up the plane ground more and this is what now we are looking at now to render the image we just need to go to render and render image so you can see the render has has finished very 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 quickly because we don't have um, many uh, you know difficult things going on right here if have we have too many faces and vertices and too much of textures and shading to work on then it will take a longer time to render but here you can see that it completed rendering in just one second and 1996 is it milliseconds it's not milliseconds <laughs> i'm not sure but 1.96 seconds so this is what um, rendering looks like now to save this image now this image is not saved as such just now because we have not externally saved this explicitly saved this image to save this image we just go to image and save and we just uh, this panel opens up and we just need to go to whatever uh, folder that we want to save our image on let's select my project and let's create a new uh, folder right here we have a create new directory option let's just click there new folder blend blender to to 
real renders right so just open it and just give a name to the image it will be saved in png format here you can see the format we can save it in the png format let's give it uh, tutorial 9 right and just save the image and that's it it's saved let's go there and let's look at if it it is saved or not so g my projects render tutorial renders and this is our cool image inside of 3d uh, let me just open it on the screen this is what our image is that we have rendered the first render that we have done uh, inside of 3d so this is how it looks like so uh, of course there are many things that we can do and the most important thing that we need to learn is to create you know awesome shapes uh, and uh, you know awesome uh, rendering and stuff like that and uh, meshes and objects and stuff like that so that we can uh, use it and render it out on the 3d panel so in the next tutorial what we'll be looking at is uh, we'll be looking at how to color this right now all of them are in just black and white color right we need colors so in the next tutorial we'll be see, we will be seeing sorry we'll be seeing how to uh, give colors and textures to these objects so see you in the next tutorial till then keep smiling and keep learning